Are you giving away too much for free? So if you're a coach or consultant and you're using free content to grow your business, you've probably asked yourself this question at some point. I know I've been helping coaches and consultants to get more clients for over 25 years. And I think this is a question I get asked weekly when people say, Bernadette, am I giving away too much for free? And I've also met in this time a lot of disillusioned coaches and consultants who have said, well, I keep turning out all of this free content. People tell me they love it, but it's not. I'm not getting buyers. Like, what am I doing wrong? So in this video, I want to talk to you about this fear of giving too much away. And I want to give you a new way of looking at things that I'm hoping can really inspire you to have the courage to add value to your clients and invite them to the next step. Here's an analogy to illustrate this. So imagine there are two boys in a garden and they both want to catch birds. And so one of them is chasing around the garden and they're basically trying to catch the birds. And the other holds out some bird seeds in his hand and stands really still and waits. Now, who do you think would be more successful? Instinctively, we all know that Birdseed Boy is probably going to have more success at attracting birds into the hand. And that's the whole point about free content and things like lead magnet is it draws your ideal clients to you. But a mistake that I see many people making with free content is that they're not then being strategic about what has to happen next. And all they do is they keep churning out more and more free content. And I liken that to like taking handfuls of the bird seed and starting to pelt. It. And if you are on email lists and you're getting bombarded by a constant stream of information yourself, you know what that feels like. So the point is not about having just as much content and giving free content. The point is to be strategic and ask yourself, what's the content I need to offer to attract people to my hand in the first place? And now what's the content that's going to convert that interest into paying business? So I will do another video, which is all about, you know, the principle of creating content that convert. But in this video, I really want to talk about this fear of giving too much away. Because if you think about it, it's really coming from a scarcity place. There's the idea that you have a finite amount to offer. If that is taken from you, and then people don't buy, then you're somehow left at a disadvantage. That's not really the thinking that's going to serve you best when it comes to attracting clients. I really encourage you to think from an abundance mindset, which is, there are clients out there, there are people out there that want what you have to offer. All of those thoughts are going to serve you as you create content to really serve them. But equally, you should just assume that just because you're offering something out for free, that that content is going to be able to do the job of converting interest into paying business. The truth is people buy because they perceive a gap. There's a difference between where they are right now and where they want to be. And if you can help them to see that gap, and then if you can demonstrate to them that your offer, your paid offer will help them to close the gap, then that is the key to getting people to buy. So you need to ask the question, is your free content currently doing that? My guess is it is. My guess is you're just churning out free tips and just keep offering things out in the hope that the content is going to convert for you. It's not going to do that. No more than, you know, handing out free books at the library is going to encourage people to go into the library to buy books. It's just not going to happen. So you need to think not so much about whether it's too much that you're giving, but the type of content you're giving. And that's why in, when I'm sharing free content, a lot of what I do with free content is helping people to see the gap. I want to educate them about why it's so important they should do what they do. What I help with people with is get clients and make money. Now you would think that that doesn't need any educating. I shouldn't don't have to tell people why they need to do that. It's obvious why they would want clients to get money. But I don't take that for granted. If I think about competition, I don't think about other business coaches. I think about all of the other things that my prospective client could be telling themselves they need to get done or handled before they can get clients. And so a lot of uh, my free content is educating people why the most important thing that they can focus on in their business, whether they're a new client or an experienced client, is making sure that they know how to get paying clients. Because once you have that in place, everything else grows from there. But if you don't know how to do that, then you're basically in constant drama, constant cash flow challenges. So you want to take time to explain to them why this is a problem that they should want to solve. You want to explain to them why out of all of the people out there, you're the person that can help them. You want to explain why your process or program will help them get results, even if they've tried other things or have failed. When you create content that educates your prospective clients in that way, that's how you're going to help to open the gap. And that's the content that will lead them into buyers. So it's not about um, giving too much away. It's about giving the right type of content. So there is a chance that you've been giving too much of the wrong type of content. 
Just like constantly giving out tips and ideas, but nothing that's really created the gap. Finally, you want to remember, even if we took a vacuum cleaner to your brain, that's not a nice analogy, is it? But even if we were able to suck out everything that you know about getting results in your specialist area, and we were to translate that into information, and we were to give all of that away, that still wouldn't help someone get results because there's a difference between information and implementation and so what you can be confident about doing in your free content is absolutely give away information but then show people that if they want to implement what the information you're sharing with them show them how you do that in your paid program so draw the distinction between information and implementation so i hope that has allayed any fears that you might have about giving away too much just know that if you are coming from a place of true service and you've got a genuine desire to serve your clients, whether they're paying clients or not, know that that place of service and that commitment will absolutely attract um, a tribe of potential buyers. And then know that as long as you are showing them the gap between where they are and where they want to be and showing them that your program, or your offering fills that gap, you're definitely going to be able to convert that interest into paying business. So I hope this has helped you. I'd love to hear your comment below on how you feel about giving away too much free content, whether this has resonated with you. And uh, do comment and ask any further questions because I do listen to what you say and uh, make sure I use it on future videos. So until next time, take care. Bye.